हाउस गोइंग एवरीबडी मिस्टर एंड्रॉइड हियर वेलकम बैक टू अ ब्रांड न्यू वीडियो ऑन दिस चैनल टूडे आई बी शोइंग यू ऑल दी हिडन मे न्यूज दैट यू कैन अनलॉक ऑन योर सैमसंग गैलेक्सी डिवाइस एंड गेट एक्सेस टू सम रियली यूजफुल फीचर्स विच विल श्योरली हेल्प यू गेट मोस्ट आउट ऑफ योर स्मार्टफोन दीज आर बेसिकली दी लैब्स मे न्यूज वेर यू कैन ट्राई ऑल दी एक्सपेरिमेंटल सैमसंग फीचर्स दैट मेनी ऑफ अस डोंट हैव एक्सेस टू Guys I'm sure you learn something useful from this video so make sure you watch it until the very end also let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one with that said drop a like leave a comment and let's get started all right guys first let me show you a hidden labs feature that is available within the my files application so when i go to the my files app tap on the three dot button and click on settings here you need to scroll all the way down and select about my files Now just keep tapping multiple times where it says my files and you will see a pop up that says my files labs has been enabled. Once it is done, just close and reopen the application, go to settings and here you will be able to see the my files labs at the bottom. This is the most recent labs option that Samsung has added with the latest One UI 6 and when you go inside this menu, you will see some brand new features that can be useful within the my files application. The one which I always prefer enabling is the permanently delete option and what it basically does is if you are deleting any files within the my files app you will now see this permanently delete option and you can select this to permanently delete any file instead of moving it to the recycle bin then you can tap on data history to see which applications are occupying the maximum space on your phone and there is also something called as files operation history which will help you to know what files you have copied moved or deleted recently this can be helpful in a situation when you are searching for a specific file then there is another interesting feature called reorganize folder this will clean up folders that have over 100 items which will surely reduce the time it takes to find files these are some of the hidden labs feature that you can enable within the my files application did you know there is a hidden camera menu that can only be accessed once you download the camera assistant app from the galaxy store it's an official samsung app that is completely free to download once installed go to your camera click on settings scroll all the way down to the bottom and here you will find this new menu called camera assistant this will unlock some really powerful camera settings and the first thing you can enable is the zoom shortcuts to see all the toggles right in front of your screen when clicking pictures now you don't have to pinch your fingers all the way just to click pictures using 100x zoom picture softening can help you reduce the over sharpening effect that we usually see when clicking pictures on samsung phones then we have the high resolution settings and what it does is if the resolution decreases due to zoom it will upscale pictures back to the resolution you selected you can improve the shutter speed to take pictures as soon as you click the shutter button not only this but there is also an option to prioritize focus over speed So you get bunch of powerful camera features inside this hidden menu which you can enable using the camera assistant app on your phone. Next, let me show you one of the most feature packed labs menu which can be found under the gallery application. Here just tap on the three dot menu, go into settings and select about gallery. Click on the version number 11 times. You will have the gallery labs option. There are a lot of useful features you can find inside this menu, and one of my favorite feature that I use most of the time is the album entry lock. By enabling this, you can lock any album in your gallery with your fingerprint. So no one will be able to access your personal albums, but the only drawback is it only works inside the gallery app, and all your locked albums can still be viewed inside the other applications. Next we have the save as PDF feature which basically lets you save multiple images as a PDF file. Next there is a setting to create slide shows only with selected images in your gallery. You can also add a timeline view to your gallery and this will organize all your albums in a much cleaner way. There are a lot more interesting features you can find in the gallery labs and you can try all these features one by one. Just make sure to restart the application every time you apply any settings from this menu. Trust me, these settings come in really handy when using the gallery app on your Samsung phone. Now the next hidden menu can be found inside the connectivity section. If you just go to your phone settings, select connections, tap on your Wi-Fi network, then click on the three dot menu and select intelligent Wi-Fi. Now tap on the intelligent Wi-Fi for multiple times and it will unlock the connectivity labs features. Once you go inside Here first thing you can do is enable the Wi-Fi 7 toggle 
So if your smartphone support Wi-Fi 7, you will get much faster speed with low latency. You can also enable this option that says switch to mobile data faster. So when you're having issues with your Wi-Fi connection, it will quickly switch to mobile data. There is an option to customize how the Wi-Fi settings page actually looks on your phone. Here you can choose the information you want to be shown on the Wi-Fi page. You can check your nearby Wi-Fi information, Wi-Fi connection history, network history and much more within this secret menu. There are many features you can find by enabling the connectivity lapse option on your phone. If you are someone who uses the Samsung internet browser, then did you know there is a hidden lapse menu available for that as well? All you have to do is go to your phone settings, select apps and then select Samsung app settings. Here just look for the Samsung internet application. Now go inside and click on lapse. Now you can enable a couple of interesting features. You can turn on the first toggle which lets you use system fonts for web pages and there is another useful option that will activate dark mode for all the web pages you visit. So these are the two lapse options you get inside your phone settings. That's pretty much it for this video. These are all the hidden lapse menus available on your Samsung phone that you need to unlock right now. If you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I am Mr Android and I'll see you guys in the next one.